Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my 5G course on IoT Understanding channel. As for today, we're going to talk about 5G base station architecture. We're going to talk about 5G uh, decomposition and centralization concept. For what reason mobile industry decided again come back to that concept, again try to split base station in uh, many many details uh, or sometimes uh, in the opposite way to centralize base station as it possible. Uh, so, but before we start, uh, I just want to start with uh, history. Because in GSM, the first GSM stations, BTS, it was fully distributed radio in terms of, um, in terms of radio protocols. Because, because all encryption, all radio protocols uh, terminates inside this base station. And uh, BSC controller in a th uh, 2G network um, is used only for controlling these stations. Yeah? Uh, and it was uh, not so cost effective because uh, these huge uh, hardware stacks uh, base stations uh, cost lots of money and uh, such base stations uh, should be deployed in, um, in a large number. So this is not a cost effective when all radio terminates in one place. Uh, when it comes to 3G, 3G node B um, was only uh, kind of a L2 base station, only uh, physics layer and Mac and other protocols, other radio protocols and the part of Mac protocols even uh, terminates into uh, RNC uh, controller and uh, RNC handle uh, all of these uh, radio protocols uh, in 3G but it was um, not so effective in terms of uh, speed and latency, mostly speed at that time. Uh, so um, when uh, HSPA uh, comes uh, and dries, yeah, uh, again some uh, functions from controller again moved back to node B. In LTE distribution wins again. In LTE we have. Uh, baseband unit with uh, higher layer processing and protocols. We have a uh, radio unit only for amplifying, uh, for uh, receiving information and we have antennas with uh, feeders and other equipments uh, but uh, maybe five or seven years ago uh, emerges emerged new type of antennas with active antenna units uh, I mean uh, just uh, antenna plus uh, a radio remote unit it was in one box but in 5G uh, you can decomposite your base station even more than before 5G base station may consist of central unit central unit for control layer processing for handling such protocols as RRC and PDCP control central unit for user plane to handle SDAP layer and PDCPU if you want to know more about SDAP this is a new protocol in 5G networks you can watch my video here uh, so uh, this is a basically um, basically baseband processing. Uh, radio units, uh, radio and base and the part of baseband was divided into distribution units. Distribution units connected to central units uh, via F1 interface. F1 is just uh, um, a reference interface from reference architecture point. Uh, so F1 control plane, F1 uh, user plane and um, 
distributed unit and uh, control unit basically uh, supposed to be located in one side in one position location and uh, in uh, with the distributed unit you can have a connection to a radio unit uh, one to one connection or one to many connection uh, so this interface is F2 uh, and F2 is uh, up uh, enhanced uh, CPRI protocol, uh, CPRI protocol uh, over uh, fiber, for example. So this radio unit uh, only for low physical uh, things, uh, protocols such as amplifying, receiving information, and uh, this distributed unit is uh, for um, high layer protocols for such protocols that may be uh, very uh, latency I mean in terms of latency they are uh, they important and again distributed unit may be on the same position with radio unit in terms of in case of some latency cases uh, not only with uh, central unit so we uh, distributed unit it is a kind of uh, trade-off between capacity and latency uh, so you can uh, deploy it as you wish and radio units may be as a part of active antenna unit as I said before so uh, this uh, part of uh, base station we call it the front hole as it used to be before actually uh, this part uh, some some sources uh, sometimes you can hear such uh, terms as a uh, mid hole but in a common sense uh, in a common use uh, all of this we call back hole from distributed unit to core network and of course uh, there are interfaces and two for uh, control plane and three for user plane and in case of dual connectivity with LT this is S1 control plane and S1 user plane to uh, gateways yeah uh, between central unit we can um, have an interface E1 in order to uh, handle information between them some information related to PDCP or RC layer, yes. So uh, again, uh, again, is is all about distribution. Is all about uh, different requirements to front hall and back hall capacity, uh, different requirements for uh, latency sensitive cases because this distributed unit uh, may be even considered as a part of mobile edge uh, computing uh, so sometimes uh, this may be on the same side with uh, this uh, mobile edge uh, platform or even as a part of that platform uh, as a um, kind of a you know kind of a, a radio cloud solution so um, and uh, as you may see, there are lots of uh, the, all of this may be uh, as a, as a dedicated hardware, as in dedicated equipment. So, uh, from the point of view, operators and vendors, all of these things. Uh, the more hardware you have, the more uh, hardware you can sell to mobile operators. Uh, the more license, the more different uh, adjustment uh, program software uh, you have to use and you can sell it to mobile operators and other market players. Another advantage is uh, if you have uh, different different units for different uh, things and uh, if these uh, units is dedicated hardware you can um, share or have a common uh, with uh, other operators and market players for example you can share your uh, centralized unit 
user plane or counter plane or all of these uh, hardware server yeah you can share with other market players you can um, have a common mobile edge platform with uh, your own dedicated unit or maybe with uh, uh, only uh, a part of uh, function dedicated unit as a function of that platform uh, but radio units, I suppose, radio units will be mostly used only for particular operators as, as usual. So, as you can see, uh, 5G is more about flexible, flexibility again, <laughs> wins. And uh, uh, so you can deploy your network as you wish. Uh, but uh, there are, again, kind of a trade-off between centralization and uh, distribution so for many cases there are different requirements for front uh, hole uh, for this uh, enhanced uh, CPRI uh, interface or for backhaul uh, interfaces to core network so um, it's uh, totally up to uh, deployment case so it was my short lesson about 5G uh, base station uh, decomposition and uh, centralization. If you like this video, you can uh, like and subscribe for my next videos. So stand by with IoT Understanding channel. Goodbye.